So what if you don't know how much to charge someone? Well, there's no magic number that's going to work for everyone. But I can tell you that you do know that it is possible for you to know the right price to charge for whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is that you're selling. So this is a this little exercise that I often do with clients when they've got lots of thinking about how much they should charge. And they're usually thinking about what so-and-so charges and what their competition is doing. And what this expert says is you're supposed to charge that amount and how if you don't charge enough, then you're not, you need to charge your worth, whatever that means. That sounds actually really scary. And we just simplify it all. So you can do this for yourself if you have a product or service that you're wondering how to price. And usually what I do is I'll say, okay, so imagine, just close your eyes for a moment. Your product or service, we're charging $5,000 for it. How does it feel? Notice your body. What do you know? And inevitably, they'll get something from it. They'll go, wow, that feels exciting, but it feels like it's too much. I'm like, okay, cool. Clear the screen. Go back again. Your product or service. Now, you charge $2,000 for it. What do you notice? And they're like, that actually feels pretty good. Cool. So clear the screen again. Your product or service. We charge $500 for it. What do you notice? And suddenly at some point we're below the threshold where it feels okay. And they know it. And they'll say, that doesn't feel like enough. That's it. Now, there is a logical process, and I will encourage you to do your due diligence as far as the cost of doing business and the cost of your time, and there are people who can help you with that. But what I'm helping you to do is tune into what you know right now about pricing. You know something. You have a sense of what feels like, what feels too low, what feels like oh, about here, what feels like a little bit of a stretch, and then what feels like way too much, even though maybe that's exciting, maybe that's aspirational. So you can do this exercise with price points that are suitable for your product or service and just see what you know, write them down. Take a moment and feel it. Here's another thing. Don't forget that you can change your prices anytime you want to. If you're in business for yourself, you get to make up the rules, including how much it costs. So if you don't like it, you can try it out, pick a price, any old price. Somebody buys it, but it doesn't feel right. You can refund them. Or you can change the price for next time. Make it higher. Make it lower. Do whatever you want. You're allowed. What do you think? Did you get anything out of this? Is it helpful? More questions about pricing your products and services? Please ask. Comment below this video. I look forward to hearing from you.